Howdy there my favorite gamers, I'm finally getting this out of the way and starting the Wintermute gameplay, don't really know why I put this off for so long, but I am pretty excited to start a new series here on the channel, even though I am aware that everyone prefers the 60 seconds videos, I still like trying out different things, anyways, let's get started. Well, I think Capable Survivor should be enough, alright, yeah let's go for it. Oh nice, very calming and cool, I'm just going to skip ahead this part though. Oh god, well look at what a nice situation awaits us. Astrid. Oh fuck, well, people don't always need both hands. Yeah. Oh god, why am I doing this to myself? Astrid! Who the fuck are you calling for? Astrid is probably dead as fuck. What the fuck did I do to cause this? And in 12 hours, definitely can't wait for that. Oh nice, very cozy office we got here. The joke. Um, okay, a fire shouldn't be too hard, basically a god at it at this point. Whoops, forgot the tinder. All right, we valid. Yup, as good as always. What is this suspense music? All I did was start a fire. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. Well, I don't give a shit beautiful. about your daddy. Not much. I think I'm done. Gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Oh great, waking me up from my nap. Oh god, who am I about to argue Jack with? Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Good to know that my name is Mackenzie, probably useful for later or something. Whoa, well slow down Maureen, what are you talking about? Bro I can't hear that other fucker. It's okay Maureen, I've got a Bro forget. didn't even knock. Hello, Will. What? I thought my name was Mackenzie. Didn't what expect you that here? one honestly. It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Oh God, I'm going Years. to have to listen to their yap session. I haven't heard from I you. I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear. Well, I guess that's where there's we're heading. there anymore. What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? My goodness, they have What's just in the been case, arguing Astrid? over the dumbest no shit. Astrid questions. is kinda rude to be honest. Look, the weather out there is bad. bad. I agree, let's stay let's inside please. You walk in here after. Let's okay, see. well Astrid somehow convinced my boy to go to because they used to be married or something. So now I gotta pack up the plane Almost because I'm a man and all that. If we're too heavy we'll burn through our fuel before Yeah we get I there. agree. I don't want to overpack or else we will crash, well, we'll crash anyways, but that's besides the point. Okay, just gotta pack this on and we're good, probably not going to be able to find it after the crash. Of course, my nice coat that will be destroyed anyways, well it's not like I know that really. Oh okay. Thought I was doing something wrong. I truly love the colors in this, they have great visuals, always a pleasure to play such a beautiful game. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. My goodness Our woman, ring. don't make this more awkward well, than it already is. Yeah. Not now, there's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second, something's wrong. I agree, he should shut up. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. Well, at least I didn't right. crash it because of lack of skill What's or something. No good thing it wasn't my down. fault. Hold tight. Will? Yeah, we were ultra fucked from the beginning. Well, this is quite familiar. Oh, mostly. And here we go, finally able to go and venture out or whatever. 
I don't even know where anything is, we all know that I'm blind without my mighty lantern or some type of light. Don't have anything else, but at least I won't bleed out for now. Healed up my wounds, found a nice little cave, and now I started a I fire, so shit's not going too bad. I need to rest up. I agree man, let me just fix up here first. I think I should go scavenging with the torch first, there's still some wood, cloth, and cedar around here. Well I collected almost everything on this section and I already rested, we gotta find Astrid now apparently, if anything, she probably just left me here to die, but oh well. The only way to go is up here, so I'm guessing she's somewhere around there. Took me a while to climb up with my shit hand. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Definitely the plane, oh, girl. I'm handsome as fuck, this isn't got cute little blue eyes and everything. Yeah, this isn't going to be easy since she was clearly not launched off near where I was. I'm looking for you. Oh fuck yeah, my favorite parka survived, I'm sure that I can fix it up later. Astrid's back. Ooh, we can finally see what's inside. Hmm. Locked. Well fuck, really gotta find Astrid now, kind of curious of Whatever's what's in, in the box. Alrighty, scavenged up, got around a wolf or two, Locked. and finally found Milton Smoke Town, we'll chimney. probably find Astrid here. <sighs> I'm also kind of starving cause I got like no food or drink so I'm definitely about to raid this town like the good old times. Oh what the fuck. Like, is anyone else seeing this or am I just high as fuck? Um. I mean, I've seen my fair share of corpses in this game, but this one is just kind of more fucked up than the others. This doesn't even really seem like a wolf attack either. Damn, here too, so many blood splashes, quite interesting. Hello? Oh, Anybody here? shit, um. Oh nah, why the fuck is Granny strapped up? Um, what do I even do? Oh wow. I can't even take a torch from here. Oh hell yeah, hope not to get shot. Hey. Why the fuck are you approaching her? Holy shit. Mackenzie is an idiot Hold for that. Fire. Get back. Bro, okay, this blind okay. bitch is Just really about easy. to blow my head off, like Why put down the gun granny. Here? If you are here. Things must be worse than they thought. Um, sure, as I've learned, I'm a mainlander, don't entirely understand it though. Don't think I'd like to take that risk. I had a name, once. The fuck does that for mean? Years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. Oh okay, sorry for cursing Granny. It's all life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Very philosophical, I love it. Fade. You should call me Grey Mother also. Fuck yeah, we part of the tribe. Huh. Trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. Ah fuck, the I knew those weren't came, wolf attacks. Took my things. Tried to take my house. We are screwed they if they also took they Astrid. Safe. Because let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Um, okay. Well, I guess I shouldn't push her too much seeing as she is an old woman, but from what I gathered, bad men came into town during storm, we are in Milton, and Astrid is possibly fucked. Finally, some good fucking food, my boy here has been starving for a while and finally gets to eat good, I love the toilet water too. Oh, fuck, like actually fuck, hurts. I am so in the oh, shit right now, hurts. didn't think that would get me. Screw that, I'm still gonna keep scavenging. Well, I'm healed, just going to go and see what to do now since I basically searched the whole house. Never been so hungry in my life. Of course you're hungry, 
you probably just shitted out your intestines, and I doubt they have Pepto in Canada. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay. Outsider. Grandmother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. Well, she fucking better. She'll try. Okay then, start of a new chapter it is, looks like we're in charge of this old lady and getting some supplies. Oh well, let's get to scavenging around town I guess, would definitely rather find a lantern first though. Found a good old little note and key around here. Hmm, okay, they stopped banking because of bad finances, common American experience. Well there wasn't much here, at least I don't think there was, I have no light to look with and am fairly blind. I've made some pretty good progress, so much so that I found the code to the bank vault. Yup, we'll finally be able to access so much money, not like it truly matters anymore though, I've made my way through most of town, haven't found anything crazy, but I am specifically looking for a crowbar or a light source, I need the crowbar to open up the gas station right outside of Milton since the door is always locked, and the light source is just for my convenience really. I also got the key to one of these safety deposits, very interesting things we have for this game mode. From what I see from the notes left around, the mail office wasn't able to get mail to the mainland, which is probably where Mackenzie is from, hence the mainlander nickname, I'm guessing shit happened and bad guys robbed the town. Couldn't find the crowbar where it usually was or anywhere else really, so I presume that maybe the door is just open, I'll also be making my way over to the church sooner or later since there seems to be some supplies in there stashed by some friends or something. Okay, well honestly, they sound like gay lovers, but let's not get into that right now, also, those are definitely paw prints, it's not like I have a gun to defend myself with. Oh thank fuck, was about to lose my shit if I wasn't let in. Oh wow, a hobo, hopefully a nice one. Well I'm just going to rob him of his food, Gotta save the town's grandma. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I, I would never be able to guess how that is spelled. Of an age. Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Well, what the fuck does that mean for me, or Astrid? Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh God, I hate ominous people, just comfort me already, I'm not up for more stress than I already have. Well, he basically invited me to take his food, so that I will do. Oh fuck yes, may the gods be blessed, finally found my savior, from now on we are strapped up and ready for life, I think I have an obsession for lanterns and fuels to be honest. By the way, the note only talked about not being able to get supplies from the mainland or something, kind of weird. Well, we have basically emptied out the gas station, found a nice little book on the economy of Canada which was quite interesting, something about the economy of the United States and Europe fucking up the Canadian economy, also found a nice little note about some Peter leaving someone in the storm or something, the notes don't give much info on what's going on, but they do reveal spots that have resources in them. Anyways, main objective right now is to just bring the food and fuel to Grey Mother, we'll probably search around the spots in the next episode. Alright, I suppose I just have to fill up the bin then. Bro what, how is that a 7.7, .7? oh well. Oh what the fuck. Alright, I figured it out just stuffed a bunch of shit in there, I literally don't know what was worth what but oh well, now I just gotta fill up the fridge and that shit said 8000 so I'm just hoping that one means calories. Alrighty, filled it up with the worst things I had honestly, I'm sure she'll be fine, I need it more than she does, I am a growing man after all. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. 
The only one from the old days. Okay, interesting, had a feeling that the hobo wasn't from Milton, how sad for Grey Mother to have no more old friends. But anyways, this is where we must leave it, definitely going to talk more in depth with Grey Mother and we'll search around the church and cars in the next episode, we'll see you guys then, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day, goodbye.